A married couple of Icelandic farmers discover that one of their livestock sheep has given birth to a humanoid baby lamb. The couple decides to raise the anthropomorphic child as their own. Hey everyone, welcome back to Clubhouse Movies Podcast. I'm your host Mark Rubalcaba from Mr. Ao Panetta. Today, we'll be reviewing Lamb, directed by Vladimir Johannesson. A couple in rural Iceland find themselves the parents of a human-sheep hybrid. I mean, what the F, man? Let's just get on with it. Yeah, well, uh, so this was a movie that existed, and uh, I was actually really happy to see that it was on the queue to see, and uh, and we, yeah. we jumped a couple other movies, and then yeah. about three minutes in, I go, oh, no, it's a foreign movie. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, God, I have to watch this. <laughs> and more more like, I have to read this. Yeah. I think you were texting me about something, watching a movie or something with your, your ear pods. I'm like, wait till you see tomorrow's earballs one, <laughs> or eyeballs God. one. Uh, yeah, I was, I was watching the other movie that we're trying to review with my AirPods on. I'm like, this is nice. And then he's, he texts me. He's like, just you wait, man. I'm like, all the, right there, the, Hamilton. The, the, the <laughs> lamb is coming. Uh, so <laughs> this was a movie that, that uh, everyone was talking about. Um, man. Back around summertime, we did we, we saw the trailer. It put us in a weird yeah. mood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Speaking of other movies. That oh, was, man. I think we actually looked, saw the trailer to that one when we saw the other one, too. Yes, we did. It was just a weird day. <laughs> it was a weird day of weird trailers. <laughs> um, Goodness. So this is a weird Icelandic movie about yeah. uh, a married couple. Yeah, they're farmers they, they, up in the mountains of Iceland. They have a lot of livestock, and there's not yeah. a lot of other people in this movie. Um, yeah. So from, be, be prepared to see a lot of. Uh, I think for my head count, there's probably six. Yeah, uh, it's starring Maria. Uh, it's played by uh, Nomi Rapas of uh, Prometheus uh, fame, and uh, an Icelandic dude named uh, the character's Ingvar. Uh, you yeah. you were touting that you can say his name. Let's hear it. No, no, I didn't say his name. I said the place Reykjavik. <laughs> I don't oh, even know how to say Reykjavik. Reykjavik. I could say Reykjavik. <laughs> No, you got to say this dude's name. Well, let me see. Let me see. What Hilmar Snengir Gudzenison. Where is his name? Where do you see this? Page two. <laughs> I'm flipping through the dossier now. Yeah. His Hilmar Snengir Gudzenison. Gudzenison. Yeah. <laughs> Hilmar Gudzenison. Probably a. Uh, and then we have the other guy, his brother, Bjorn Hilmar Haraldson. We'll just call him Peter. <laughs> yeah. Peter. Peter and Ivan or something. <laughs> yeah. Just to make things simple, but anyway, uh, the the main couple is um, is uh, Maria and Ingvar. Yeah, and uh, they have sheep. They have a bunch of crops that they put down. Yeah. So the thing is, and there's a lot here that good enough. It doesn't get lost in translation, even though like they could have easily done that. Yeah, it's a simple. It's a simple, simple movie. And, yeah. And so. I have to say, it actually looks good. No, it's the cinema was like beautiful. I want to like. Spend a summer there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just telling you that, yes, I want to do that. Not, not with you, with my wife. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> so, the thing with this movie is you, you start realizing that this couple is going through this mundane process of constantly farming, doing all this stuff, and then you're like, huh, wait a minute, can they not have a kid? Because, you know, they don't look like they're long in the tooth, but... They're definitely there's some there's like a palpable force between them, where they're just like sitting in silence for a lot of the time. Well, we learn, and then this is in a lot of the promotional material that you that we actually don't learn until about maybe a quarter of the way into the movie, maybe more. Mm-hmm. But they lost their kid. Yeah, that was a pretty big revelation to me, man. When I saw because that. they had the crib. Yeah, and they, they, we we they find that out later on, and uh, and we even see a scene of them like. Running, calling the 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 the, the new kid's name. Yeah, uh, dude, the, that was so weird. I was like, no, in the dude. middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, and I was thinking, why are they checking like this pond thing? Like it was just kind of an obscure place. So I, I suppose yeah. that's where they found the real Ada yeah. originally. But uh, yeah, so just a mundane farm. Um, and by the way, sexless at this point in, in retrospective. Yeah. Now that I think about it, watching it, and I know that sounds weird listening to it. <laughs> yeah, when you're saying that. When I, when I say it, but they were just kind of like there. They, so, yeah. So, so something reinvigorates them, apparently, now that I think about yeah, it. Yeah, it's so weird. Uh, it's like a sheep reinvigorates them. The sheep so reinvigorates. They do have yeah, sheep. And, and then. They do have sheep. Uh, many sheep. And it was actually kind of. Uh, one of my negatives for this movie is just some like harsh, like, 
uh, attitude toward, towards animals. Like not like not vindictive. Mm-hmm. So I'm not, I'm not going to say it's like they're they're bad people. They're farmers. Yeah. They do farmers. Yeah, stuff. it's it's they're, they're tagging the, the ears, right? They tag the ears, spray the back of the animal, depending yeah. what kind of livestock it is. And they actually uh, show a lot of birthing. That I was not ready for. I was, and it looks s- real. It looks like yeah. they actually they actually did farmer stuff. So that I want to say I've seen this in real life. Like I've seen an animal be born. Yeah, that the first one looked super real. Like I'm like, holy crap, that's that's for sure really happening. The thing that terrified me was like, where are your gloves at? You were barehanding this. Oh yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I had I was sipping my beer. Watching this thing on my laptop, and thank God I did not spit up on my laptop, too. <laughs> hey, lady, there's coronavirus in there. <laughs> yeah, what's in the womb? That's where it came from. Yeah, and the, the thing is, like, while know. you're watching that, you start to appreciate the uh, the practical effects of the new, you know, the birth of the the hybrid, you know? Yeah. That was for sure a practical effect. Okay, so so that, that was happening, and uh, so... It, this this was kind of ambiguous as to how it happened or why it happened, but it, this was like one of the first scenes yeah. where there's a bunch of sheep, and this is at night. I, I think the couple was watching. Like, like no, and so it it starts actually in the beginning of the movie. So you know? it starts with a there's a like some wild horses running mm-hmm. around mountainside, and you hear this guttural growl. Like, <laughs> yeah, you hear that, and then you hear like a little smaller, smaller. Yeah, yeah, so you hear hoofs stepping on like loose gravel and stuff. And these horses are approaching this thing, like the lead horse, and he's like, huh, nope. And the horse runs away, and then you see this thing, like, eyeballing sheep, because it goes into its uh, cabin, or whatever they keep the sheep. Yeah, like eight. the barn. Yeah, and that's, I think that's where they were watching, like, a movie inside their house That wasn't or at the very, very beginning, though, was it? Yeah. Really? This was the first wipe, man. This is Did like it happen Howard. again later on? Yeah, it happened again later okay, on. Okay, so that, that's what happened, because I, I remember that, and then I remember them, re- I remember the recap, too, so my yeah. brain, like, erased the beginning. That's yeah. And it, it it was it was just weird because you're hearing this you're seeing you're not you don't see anything happen you just you know the next morning you see these the sheep giving birth yeah and you don't see the offspring but you see their reactions which is pretty nonchalant by the way yeah <laughs> uh, so so they're, 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 they've given they've they've uh, given birth to a few sheep already to, to baby lambs and uh, you know they just kind of business as usual business as usual yeah. but then then this one gets crapped out. And then, uh, and and then, and then they're just like, oh, 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 oh. like, <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, you hear a lot of that. <laughs> and then the thing is, I mean, if it like, were if it were me, I'd be, yeah, I'd be like, get out of there. Well, okay, so this it's is like how how crazy are the things they, you must see daily to not they, freak out over that? You know, I, yeah, I saw it with my um, with my aunt. And she oh, had no. she she had no preconception because we we kind of <laughs> we saw the trailer we saw what was gonna we, happen we already had what the f moments and, and ready my, I just heard my like oh what's wrong with the lamb I hope he's okay and you're like oh no because she's they, not ready because they, they roll <laughs> the lamb up in a in a towel or whatever and bring him inside which yeah. you know you would you would do we've ra- we've brought in some of our animals when they've been sick inside that you know, yeah but inside this the bed one was covered in fresh like blood yeah there was, were there was a lot of weirdness and they yeah. didn't show the lamb um. You do see it a little later, not too far later, because this movie isn't actually that long. Well, there's, there, yeah, it's a, it's a relatively short movie, but you you do see uh, the first glance of it is a, like a baby butt, you know, yeah. from behind, and it's a baby, it's a baby no, butt. No, there's another one. There's really? another quick scene that freaked me the hell out. So I saw the baby butt, and I was like, oh no, yeah. But the so, yeah. So the first time we see this. And I don't know how the hell they didn't jump up out of bed, but they're in bed. They're laying down. It's bedtime. They're asleep. And, um, God, what's her name? Maria. She sees, she's looking at the crib. You see her eyes open and you see this little, little weird arm reach. Like it doesn't look quite human. It doesn't look quite goatish. Reach and touch the, like the crib. And then she's like, gives this little soft mother-like smile. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> Yeah. Well, the thing no. the, the thing about it was so let's let's get into the the deformity of this creature. Oh man, this creature has seventy five percent human body. Yeah, and I and I think the reason why I didn't notice that at first because it was a hoof. Like, yeah, the the the, the like the left hand of it yes. is a hoof, and the entire head of it is a lamb. Yeah, <laughs> and it's so weird. And, you and know, it's, it's got a left arm that's a regular arm and, you know, two human legs and stuff. And the and my biggest question is how much time is passing here? Because yeah. it, it it turns into like a an effective five, six-year-old kid. Yeah, with it and like is this thing growing it, it, at a sheep's rate? It could, yeah, it could have been a sheep's rate, so it could just be a few, if it, in which case a few weeks old. Yeah. 
but I actually think this is a few years later. It has to be. Um, and they don't really clarify how long has passed, but they are cozy. They have they the kid you know, like we said originally when it was a kid they had the crib and they kept it in the ba- uh, bedroom. Yeah. But but now the kid walks around and they yes. they named it Ada and it's got like puffy jackets and it's running around doing yeah. like kid stuff and it has yeah. a funny it has a funny like limp and then the, the stupid uh, gimp arm it's yeah. really hoof <laughs> as it's running around. <laughs> It's so it's so unnerving, man. It's unnerving, but it's kind of cute too. It's super cute. It's like a very cute thing, and you're like seeing it run around like toddler like and stuff, and then you see its little hoof arm, and you're like, oh god. <laughs> um, but but to me, the, the the thing is, I don't know why they didn't react. Um, maybe yeah. they're hypnotized by it because they're obviously there's something evil going on. Yeah, there's some weird uh, some weird folklore going on here. And then there there are three animals here that I was most concerned about. First, uh, we're our big cat people. Remember, our boss is a cat. Uh, yeah, I was worried that the cat would die. <laughs> yeah, because I saw the I'm cat. Like, Poor kitty. I saw him and I was like, "Oh my god!" Because the same thing happened in the Chucky series, and the cat I, didn't make it. But yeah, the, I actually picked up my cat when I saw the cat. Yeah, they have a dog, <laughs> a nice yes. happy dog, a little border collie, and then the the saddest of them all, <laughs> Mama Sheep. Mama Sheep. Mama man. Sheep kept on following them. Yeah, and she, Mama Sheep even lured uh, Ada, the the baby sheep, out a few times. Yeah. And then Maria had no, no, no. enough of it. Yeah, we'll talk about that because oh, that, because that, that, there's, there's 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 stuff that happens it's there. Very cyclical. You'll see it. Yeah, that that's when they reveal that there was uh, the original Ada. Yeah, the, because they went to they actually went to the grave of Ada. We mm-hmm. know that they named this kid Ada. I don't know why they would do that. I don't know why they would. Pre- I, if, assuming that this was a blessing of some form. Yeah. Like like if this were me and I was I would I would either there there are a few things that come to mind. One, this is. The work of good, yeah. Two, this is the work of evil, <laughs> yeah. and three, like you know, I'm the dude in this in this equation here. But if I were uh, Maria, I'd be like, "Did you have sex with this goat?" Yeah. <laughs> so that was my first thought, and then I'm like, "Wait a minute!" If you're looking at it from Maria's side, you're like, "You're like Ingvar, did you just have sex with this goat?" <laughs> Yeah, and, and that's why I was kind of, I, I did kind of go back to that one scene. I didn't go far, 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 because I know that there is a definite monster in yes, the woods. something a- and, is out there. And I think they, they introduced you this concept because they don't want you to think. That, exactly that, what we that, thought. That this dude, you know, had some hot goat action. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, temple, yeah, the temple, temple of Goatly Pleasures or something. It's like, oof. Um, but, but I guess Marie's just kind of cool with it and just... Just assume that it, uh, they they both had this. Just they like, had this conversation off camera. Uh, they had to have. Must have happened. There's a lot going on that we're not. Did privy you bang to. this goat? <laughs> yeah, man. I, and I, I think I think that scenario just isn't in there. Um, but they 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 named it Ada after their dead kid. Um, yeah. oof. And that was when they that that was when the mama goat you know led it to the river. Uh, and then they they have that. Yeah. They have that. Uh, like moment of holy crap, it's dead. Or 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 Ada, sorry, Ada is dead. No, well, the first Ada died, but they were afraid that the new Ada would die the same way. Yes, uh, and then w- just as this is happening, uh, a Volkswagen, like or just some old tiny. Yeah, it looks like a old, old like old Volvo hippie or, van. Yeah, a hippie it was actually va- a car. What's a car? Was the car okay? Well, yeah, it, I thought it was a van. Too. My, my brain wrote it as a hippie van. Pulls up in the middle of nowhere, and then then these like. This chick comes out and just throws a bunch of crap like and a phone. Yeah, in the middle of the they, like, just a man. You ever see like a big hay field or big? Uh, or if you've seen any picture of Iceland ever, just like yeah, a big green the Shire. <laughs> yeah, pretty much <laughs> with no hobbits. Yeah, with no hobbits and black roads. Yeah, um, they just throw a bunch of crap out on a phone, and then this like rock yeah. uh, rock star dude wearing like the Terminator jacket comes yeah. out. Well, they brought him out of the trunk. Oh, he was in the trunk. Okay, he was in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they threw him out of the trunk. I was like, oh, they're for sure gonna shoot this guy. Yeah, we don't, we don't know what's going on, but they just. Drop off and he's like, okay yeah and then he just like walks um in the direction yeah. then while this is happening uh maria is at the house and i guess her husband is asleep and yeah. she grabs the rifle which by the way they just keep out and loaded at yeah. all at all which is terms. a weird rifle too because it didn't make like any real rifle sound like it, it wasn't silence it was like just shooting it was like one of those punch guns they use. Like yeah, it might have been a twenty two or something small some, or yeah, something. Yeah, something small. But it was like um, they left it loaded all the time. But I guess they had to like shoot the uh, the coyotes or something. Yeah, uh, it might be a thing. I don't think <laughs> coyotes up there. But hey, the, um, obviously there's freaking monsters. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, oh no, the Sasquatch is back <laughs> having sex with our goats. <laughs> Let's um, get them. <laughs> uh, so. Sh- 
So, yeah, speaking of which, she sees Mama Goat waiting outside the bedroom again. Yeah. And so, wait, real quick, real quick. Is it me or was it because it's in Iceland, they were not having any kind of sunset? It was like perpetual daylight. I, I think that that is some Iceland stuff. Okay. Um, and there were some sunsets. Uh, yeah. I think the last the shot beginning. comes to mind, by the way. Yeah. And the, maybe the but beginning. But throughout the whole movie, besides the beginning, everything else was like daylight. Well, I know the further north you get, the less sunshine there. Or no, the less more sun. night time. Yeah, the more sunshine there is. Yeah. Um, so. so there might be some of that. Anyway, back off. Um, but yeah, I remember enough nighttime and scenes. Anyway, we'll, yeah. we'll figure it out. Uh, but anyway, the, the, the mama, the mama goat is, uh, outside the bedroom. Yeah. She wants her little baby, man. She wants her baby back. And now that I think about it, she did try to lead Ada, the baby back to the field where, where the conclusion kind of happens. Oh, did not even think about that. Yeah. I just thought about that too. Whoa. So, so, so so she was trying to put the family together apparently (laughs) now that I think about it. Um, but uh, but Maria takes that that uh, we'll assume it's a twenty two or something small and just yeah. uh, puts a, a nice uh, bullet hole in its head, dude, and like takes it dead out. shot too. Dead man. Shot in the head, takes it out, and uh, that that rocker dude. Uh, well, she buries it in a shallow grave. Yeah, buries she's it all out. covered in blood. Dries herself off like no big deal. Yeah, and, and then the rocker dude, uh, he sees it, Peter, he sees it, and he just goes to sleep in the the barn. <laughs> it's like, okay. And I thought for sure he's going to murder everybody or something. I did too. I'm like, this guy is a cold-blooded killer. He, he has he, no no issue with this. Because he just did some dude, and then he like, then, uh, what's his name? Uh, the, Peter. No, the, 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 the Ingvar. Oh, the husband, Ing- Ingvar. Oh, yeah, Ingvar. Yeah. Ingvar shows up. He's like, hey, Peter, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm here for the weekend. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. And, and then they're just like cool about it. And then he's like, yeah, I guess you can stay here for a while. Yeah, sounds like uh, sounds like a cool thing. Yeah, turns out they're freaking brothers. It's his brother, but they don't <laughs> they don't announce it uh, here. This is like the only suspense like in the movie that yeah. you, don't, you don't know what's going to happen, I suppose. It's crazy. Uh, the, the only prolonged suspense, let's say. Uh, and, and then they all go to, okay, the funny thing about this, they, you know, Peter, or not Peter, uh, I, Ingvar and... Uh, Maria know that they have a unusual kid. Yeah. And I'm assuming they haven't told them yet. Yeah, I don't but think they've told anyone yet. They haven't told anyone, but they are uh, about to have breakfast or whatever. And then they're like, yeah, Ada, she doesn't like a stranger, so, you know, be nice to her or something. Yeah. And then they're all just, just it's the three of them just sitting there. And then Ada comes in just like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with a little feet. <laughs> little just feet, looking. wearing a big jacket, and just sits there and like eating oatmeal or something. I don't know what. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then freaking Peter's like, what the f- is this? He takes it. He's cool. He's cool for it. Like with the for the longest time. Yeah, he holds. He holds it pretty good. Man. He's like, hmm. There you go. He's like, what you gonna do, man? We're up in Iceland. Yeah. And then like he gets his like brother like up and he's like, what the f- is this? Yeah. And it's all. By the way, it's all in Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> or Icelandic. Icelandic. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and the guy says, uh, happiness. Oh yeah. This is happiness. This is happiness. This isn't a haunting. This is not some kind of demonic work at hand here well, he just said happiness so uh the the, the, the guy keeps saying like it's a monster then, yeah and then there's uh they were they were cleaning out so they were cleaning out the barn and you know if you, like some random time has passed nothing nothing really yeah, he happened. was i feel like a few months have gone by yeah there's no nothing real of note happening here and Peter is now, you know, helping them clean out the barn, and he's sitting he, outside of the barn. He, well, here's let me just say, Peter is actually pretty useful. I thought he was going to be a deadbeat. Like, oh brother, yeah, he's a total. But like, he was on board for like yeah. the farming like gig for like yeah, a while. He's like he just jumps right in, gets his hands dirty, no big deal. He may you know, he, he may, earned his keep. Yeah, for sure. So, so he wasn't a deadbeat brother. Yeah, so he's not this weirdo who just shows up and is like just wasting life. He's he's here. He's he's working. working. He's doing his thing. Yeah. So he goes to take a break, sits down in this comfy chair. And outside, it, yeah, out, yeah. So he's outside next to some oats, next to some or oats or some high grass, whatever, yeah. tall grass. And he he sees he sees Ada walking out. It's so funny. he grabs like a fistful of grass. And he's like, <laughs> here you go. He's like, <laughs> and she comes and starts to eat it. And then and then Ingvar sees him. He's like, what are you doing? Don't he's do like, that. She eats people food. He's like, I'm feeding her. I'm feeding a freaking lamb. Some, I mean, she's some, an animal. I'm eating, yeah. giving her animal food. Eat some grass, it's duh. Like, this is our daughter. Don't do that. <laughs> Tell her not to eat grass. <laughs> uh, and they get into a little bit of an argument over it. She's an abomination. I forget what he says, but uh, but you know, it's like, oh no, there's a gift. And then, yeah, a gift. And then, so I guess it, it, like if we fast forward to the night and all this stuff, whatever night twilight, whatever they're going through. Yeah. And we see um, Peter start walking 
out with Ada. With Ada, and he has the freaking the he, rifle. He grabs the gun, yeah, yeah. And it's it, it's kind of freaky because like uh, he's leading this like happy kid. Yeah, and to, in to, the trailer we saw this, and it was only the backside that we saw. Yeah, and then uh, you think it's all over, and you see uh, see Maria wake up from like a nightmare, like, <gasps> and she goes out to go find it, and what she see? She sees she sees. Peter, Peter and chilling. Ada, they're sleeping together on yeah, the couch. Yeah, they're rocking on the couch. I'm like, what kind of weird freaking sorcery is this freaking sheep goat hybrid thing? He couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. it couldn't. Those, that fluffy head, man. Have you ever pet? Have you ever gone to a petting zoo and actually petted like one of those little lambs? Yeah, we had a goat. They're, they're freaking, yeah, they're adorable. Little pygmy goats are the best thing ever. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I think it's also, now that I look at my notes, it is also worth saying that uh, – uh, Peter has the hots for Maria. Yes. So he was keeping, he did keep his keep, but he did have a few moments where he kind of walked in on her while she was taking a bath with uh, Ada. Yeah. Which is weird also, by the way. Yeah, super weird. Um, Air balls. Ugh. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> So he's like, he's like, did you want me to walk in on you? And like, there were a few times yeah, where like, like, where it looked like Maria would be like, kind of uh, into it, dude. It was weird. Is this just me or? Uh, it was a little. Weird. We we saw two movies back to back, and both <laughs> yeah. of them have very uh, very unusual feminist or anti feminist themes. Yeah, it was a little <laughs> little extra there. <laughs> yeah, so so not this, on purpose. Yeah, it just kind of happened that way. Anyway, um, yeah, so he so he sees her in the kitchen. You know, they're all having a great time watching. Whatever the heck. I think we're watching like handball or something. Some kind of Icelandic handball. <laughs> soccer? Yeah, I thought it was soccer. I don't know what it was, man. Well, there was a point where uh, after he couldn't kill Ada, the uh, Peter couldn't kill Ada. Yeah. Like they, they were like normal, right? Yeah. And not only that, he was actually taking care of yeah. Ada for a while. Yeah, like and he was taking her on tractor rides. They and went stuff. on like a trip too. Yeah, fishing in on a lake. They, yeah, they, they they like hung out, and that's what I was saying. That's when um, I thought he was gonna put her out right there, man. Oh, yeah, he would just pushed her over <laughs> again. Well, that's when that's when uh, Maria and Ik, and uh, Idvar went. Oh right, Mar- Ingvar. And Maria and Ingvar actually like started like banging, yeah, which that, they hadn't done throughout the entire movie as far that as I came can out tell. of freaking nowhere. Uh, but I guess they were finally happy that they got a baby. They they got a demon baby. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was very lovable, and uh, and their weird kind of gropy uh, brother in law showed up. But it's all cool yeah, because yeah, like, it's all cool. It's nothing. I mean, gropy is nothing compared to a sheep human hybrid. I guess. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Woof. <laughs> um, but yeah, then we get back to the uh, the. Oh yeah, they had sex. Yeah. And then they were just playing like poker. <laughs> Remember? Oh, and that's, right. And then that, and I'm like, yeah, they were like, it's like this is the best it. night out ever. Sex yeah. and poker, <laughs> except they're not going out anywhere. They're just staying on the land. Yeah, and then, then playing like, cards at the table. Aiden and Peter come back, and then they, we find out that uh, that uh, Peter was a rock star in the past, and they're playing like yeah, weird like 80s Isla- Devo stuff. Well, he's like Icelandic, like like freaking synth rock. Yeah, just like a whip it good. Yeah. <laughs> Whip it good, <laughs> uh, and he's like dressed all weird and like, <laughs> he's, like <laughs> he's making these stupid gestures. He's like, look at my hand, look at my hand. <laughs> well, yeah, and then they're dancing with Ada to this song, and like yeah, the goat's like <laughs> she's doing her little her goat like <laughs> goat goat person dance. Um, <laughs> and then I started thinking like these are like the worst parents <laughs> because A- Ada just sort of like gave up and like started like going outside and that's when uh, the dog started barking and Ada-, Ada went to go see what the dog was barking yeah, at. Yeah, and these parents were getting totally smashed on like Icelandic whiskey and Icelandic beer. Yeah, and then that's when the, uh, the Ada and the dog are out like looking and like they see like uh, the yeah, creature. They see, yeah, they see creature goat man thing. Yeah, uh-huh. creature goat man thing and then <laughs> Oh, poor, no. poor, poor, poor dog didn't make the creature goat man fight. Yeah, this must have been why they didn't give the dog an actual name. <laughs> like, yeah, they just called him dog. They just called him dog. Oh, poor dog. <laughs> he was such a good dog too, man. Yeah, he. Uh, I was thinking these are such lousy parents. They they almost they barely they lost their dog. They lost their first kid because yeah. apparently he drowned. Because they're apparently always having fun watching weird like Icelandic uh, handball stuff, handball games. Yeah, and playing VHS tapes of their brother in law's stuff. Yeah, and having like poker sex. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, crappy wine and probably crappier whiskey. Yeah, just, it's like the all, all they have to eat is like the what do you call it the uh, the cafeteria section at IKEA. Oh. <laughs> they got dried fish jerky, fish jerky, <laughs> oh, and, and meatballs. Lots of locks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, the uh, worst. they don't. Re- I don't even think they react to the ca- uh, the dog being dead. 
No, not until I, the guy just walks around, whistles he, for the dog. The dog never comes by, and he's just like, well, yeah. the dog must have finally taken off. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry, dog. It's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even think they find it. I think I know we see its body later on Man, like, somewhere in the ditch. mangled. Woof. Yeah, so, so poor, poor dog. Yeah. <laughs> poor Sorry, woof, didn't make it. Um, the cat, I think, actually pieced out. I think the cat, he's like, that cat, that cat knew what's up, man. He's like, you know, the devil is that, like outside at night, right? I'm gonna like that go. cat was staring down Ada a few times. I'm like, that cat is gonna go bye bye. Yeah, he's like, <coughs> yeah. We even see see the cat in the grass, just like not at the house. He's just like, I don't like you. Like, yeah, he's like, I'm out here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the cat did survive, so that was good. Um, and then um, at some point, well, then then so like. When that's happening, I guess, um, like when the dog is gets killed and all that stuff, we don't see the beast. Um, but Maria does take Peter to um, uh, to a bus stop because he came he, onto her. Yeah, he came. He onto came onto her. her hard, and he locked her a in the pantry. A little rapey. Yeah, he, she locked him in the pantry. Yeah, she locked him in the pantry. You're right. Yeah. It reminded me of uh, the Shining when yeah they locked, uh, when uh, Jack was uh, locked in the pantry too. Yeah, it was, almost identical. Probably was, a nod to it. Yeah, I was like going to say it's pretty nod. Uh, and then that's when, and it, I guess, uh, Ing- Ingvar was, uh, just passed out the whole oh, time. Oh, he was super drunk. He dude. was, he was drunk and passed out with, uh, with Ada. Yeah. Cause Ada was just partying too hard. And then she saw her goat father, like hanging out in the backyard. Yeah. She was like, whoa, man, that's crazy. I'm gonna go nap with my dad. Yeah. And then Maria <laughs> just pretty much takes the, uh, Peter out to the bus stop and is like, I guess this is it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they hug him. <laughs> she gives him cash. I was like, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, uh, I guess they're not making that whippet money anymore. No, <laughs> yeah. no residuals. No more of that. So then, w- what happens next? Is I'll tell you what happens next because the, the whole the whole everything happens this? at a breakneck pace at this point. Okay, yeah. Okay, because they so all was... they all go walking. Uh, no, no, not all of them. Maria is out taking Peter out to uh, the bus stop. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Ingvar wakes up with Ada and he's like, "Let's go for a nice walk." Oh right! And they they both go for like a nice long walk. Yeah, and it's not it's not particularly any different. He's like, I guess like Maria and uh, Maria and uh, Peter are having an affair in somewhere. Like he <laughs> they didn't leave a note. They didn't leave like a, like a knife in the wall. Like they don't leave anybody notes. They don't no have... cell phone. No communication. As far as I can tell. Yeah. He's just like, I guess they're out like doing stuff together. It's just weird. Um. So they're out going for a walk, and then they're like pretty far up, right where I think where, where Ada was with her mom with the yes. goat with the actual goat. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just, just out in some field, and then uh, I got to get this right. And then Ingvar just all of a sudden gets his, uh, a hole blown in his in his chest, or no, in it his was, neck. It was one in his stomach and one in his neck. Yeah, he just gets shot. He gets like shot once. He's like, oh, he's like yeah. dying. It's like practical effects. Boosh, boosh. Yeah, and then they just cut to this like the the stupid like uh, cyber demon from Doom. Yeah, you <laughs> see his face and stuff. You're like, oh. God, it's a man with a goat head. So he's like fully. Yeah, he's got full man. dong hanging out. And yeah, everything. you're like, no. <laughs> no. Hang on. Hang low, sweet chariot. Just yeah. chilling there, man. Oh. No. I was trying to find an ew. I just don't have it. For some reason, my brain, I, I always think of an ew. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just, 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 just some goat man has the rifle. Yeah, and he just drops it and he's just, just this giant goat man thing. And, and then he takes Ada. And then the thing is, Ada's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad because Ada's like looking at her like dad while he's bleeding to death. Yeah. And she's like, huh? 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 And then this guy's like, <laughs> no, he's like, <laughs> yeah. and he yeah. just grabs her and walks off with they her. They just walk off out to pasture and then uh, uh, probably quite literally out to pasture. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Ingvar is just out there dying. And then uh, that's when uh, Maria is kind of like, she gets back. She's like, where the heck are they? And yeah. she, she she runs and then she thinks, I guess she just figures that's where they went. Yeah. Because I guess there's something, in the disturbance in the force. Yeah, they must they must walk the same path. Uh, and then she just sees him like bleeding out and like dying. Yeah. And I think she just sees his last breath. She doesn't see where the goat goes, the goat man and the goat yeah. go. <laughs> like, they're just gone forever. And it just kind of ends with her standing there. Like she's just like, <sighs> <sighs> like I, she, I she, believe she is standing in the same spot where they discovered that their first Ada was dead because that's where... Yeah, because she had this look of realization on her. Yeah, there was a scene earlier on where they cut to him trying to find Ada. Yeah, running into this like... The this, marsh or whatever. Yeah. It looked like the same marsh where Maria was standing when yeah. at the end of the movie. So it was kind of a callback to that. Uh, and then the movie just uh, ends. It, it just freaking ends. I was like, no, not this kind of cold ending. Like, my mind was racing, so when she was right there getting, you know, 
seeing her husband die, I was like, they're probably going to think that she did it. That was it. That was the only thing I thought of. Well, I, I well, as long as her fingerprints weren't on the gun at that moment, and well, yeah. clearly Goatman's, I guess everyone's fingerprints are on that gun. Yeah. Well, everyone. and it's not like they can report Ada stolen. Yeah, because she never existed. She never existed. But I just remembered thinking like that goat man, like deadbeat dad, just <laughs> yeah, letting these guys douche. like raise the kid to change his diapers just long enough to. So we're like, all right, you can go pee in the woods. Yeah, just pick him up when she's cute. Yeah. <laughs> she just walks away. And that was that. Yeah. Um, it was a it was a ride. It was, it was but weird but ride, I will say yeah. it did look great. It was very well done. So like the sound the score was well done. Whoever managed the sound was great. The director of photography, my God, this thing was absolutely beautifully done. Yeah, it, it, it the symmetrical scenes, man, really, like, really good. And it also, even though there were a lot of like landscape shots, it still felt claustrophobic. Yeah, they did a really good job, and it had to come down to the type of lenses they use, which I will not go into. But it was done very well. Yeah, <laughs> that thing. I mean, I, well, I, say, I, I, I say, don't know what else you got to say. You know, I got a couple of points here. I say, uh, I said, uh, out. Ada. Super cute, but I felt bad for her. So I did too. I mean, she's just a product of this. She's not like she's not at fault for anything. Yeah, you know? I just think that the and movie, we assume she's a she. Well, because the, they called her a she. Well, they, they had uh, they saw her body. Is that oh, most human? That's true. That's so true. I would assume it was a girl at that point. Um, but. I just think it did need a little bit more of a narrative. And it needed to be fleshed out a lot more. I think they could have they could have uh, curtailed this story pretty well, but they, it, this movie needed to have a little more of a, a pet cemetery, like like they like like going through books and like the like maybe yeah. maybe Peter was on the internet and he'd see like oh this happens like once every fifteen years, yeah. <laughs> like every twenty years some goat man comes and bones my goat. <laughs> he screws the goats. <laughs> Makes a man goat thing. Him and his goat wives. <laughs> the There's a harem of, of them. The ghost of chocolate fucking rain. horses. Oh god. Oh man, it's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> nay, sir. Nay. <laughs> this is not the end of us discussing horse sex <laughs> no, it's tonight. Not. It's weird. No. <laughs> Ironically, oh, man. Um, but anyway, uh, let's uh, let's get into some uh, letter grades. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> you uh, t- start it off. Yeah, start it off. So I, right. I, I'm actually going to give this one a B minus. Okay. This strange movie about a delusional couple does deliver what it sets out to accomplish. It does keep you guessing what's going to happen next. I just would have liked a stronger narrative to justify some of the insanity. I like that. That's pretty good. I think it's uh, somewhere along the lines what I'm going to say. I will be giving it a C. I was going to go with a B minus, but I'll give it a C. I said, some call it art. Some call it fine cinema. I call this laziness. The tools were present to make a movie that had a real sense of scope and emotion. While I don't feel anything was lost in translation, I do feel there wasn't enough to get lost in. I just feel like this entire story was a bit amiss. The only reason it's not an outright flop is due to the attention to detail demonstrated by the director of photography. Watch it or don't, it definitely is something. Yeah, you know, they had Numi uh, Rappas, however you say her name, um, and uh, they, you know, every, they were competent actors, competent oh, for directing, sure. co- competent everything. Um, it, it, you're right. It, it's, it, I don't know. If, I don't know. If it was the Last Jedi that started this subverting <laughs> expectations. Listen, guys, you don't have to subvert expectations all the yeah, time. Yeah, not all the time. Like, come on. Um, it but, would have been nice to see her with another family, maybe an epilogue later yes. on. Like she's in jail. Like even if it's a sad ending. Um, yeah, just give us an ending because this movie. I felt like if it had an ending, it would have been. It would have felt better because it was a good story. Yeah, and and I think um, this this company A twenty four that makes these weird ass <laughs> movies. We saw we saw the Green Knight, and the Green Knight had a similar similar problem too. Yeah, it was a hard ending on that one too. And and it's just sort of like uh, I used to I used to think like maybe there was a boardroom of like writers, and then yeah. they all ask each other, should we make it suck? <laughs> and honestly, I, like not yeah. even kidding. Um, and and somehow I think that same boardroom at some point is like uh, for at eight twenty four is like okay guys, that sounds great. We got a lamb. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's the little kid. It's oh then what happens? And the dad dies. Okay, and then the new me rapper. She's like sad because she lost her husband and her kid, both kids. Oh my yeah. god! And it's like demonic. All right, what happens next? 
Okay, let's go home. Yeah, you know, like that's that's you know it. What? That's, that's a wrap. Is it me or do I? Does it feel like that wasn't a thing with movies up until like the like the two thousands, like the like the early two thousands, where this movie started just getting a little too artistic, and they would just chop stuff at the end. Right? Does it feel that way? Because I feel I, like that was a. This has been a new thing in the last twenty years or so. I'm, I'm trying to think of uh, Terry Gilliam. There's, uh, there's a few movies where I'm just like this but, could but, have ended better. So 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 Terry Gilliam, uh, he made Brazil. So maybe we'll watch. I know you haven't seen it, so I want to yeah. get into the ending of that. Um, but he did do also. Um, okay, he did he did two other movies. Um, he did Twelve Monkeys. Okay, seen and that he was building up to the death, his own death. That that was the big twist in that movie. Mm-hmm. It's been yeah. a while since I've seen. Is I've that Bruce it. Willis as a kid saw himself his, his adult self dying? Yeah. And that was kind of like an abrupt ending when it happened. Like, what's that? What just happened? Yeah, you know. And it was, and it was like that too. And then he did the same thing in Time Bandits. Also, um, uh, I'll kind of get into that ending just because I don't know if we want to talk. Yeah. But 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 what happened in Time Bandits mm-hmm. was um, they fought like the devil. It was okay. it was a, an amalgamation of pure evil, right? And then he exploded. Okay. And died, and he just turned it into these big chunks of pure pure evil. Wow. And he exploded in, and then since they're time bands, they're able to like collect all the pieces since he's exploded and yeah. they put on like an evil trash can. Like it was meta. Yeah. Super meta. This <laughs> yeah. is the 80s, right? This is a trip. Yeah. And then they throw it all away. And then like, it's it's like, yeah, we do. And, and then God shows up. He's like, remember, this is pure concentrated evil. It's like an Englishman <laughs> in like a white suit. Yeah. Don't get a piece of that anywhere. And, and that, it's, just to kind of get it, it's, it's actually a really good quote because there's a boy in it. And then he gets a talk, chance to talk to God. Yeah. But yeah. He says, he goes, why did you make evil? And then he just kind of looks and says, hmm, I don't really remember, but I think it had something to do with free will. You know, like that. Oh, wow. And the <laughs> reason why I kind of bring up this 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 scenario is yeah. uh, like, what just happened scenario? Because uh, at the very end, he like, was it all a dream? Did it really happen? Yeah. You know, and... Uh, and then because like the house burned down and he wakes up like like normal and his parents are like oh the house must burn down and then then they then they, just in the oh man just that like, sounds intriguing everything is like back to normal like nothing happened yeah and then the the firemen come out and they're like oh yeah we found it it was the microwave the microwave almost exploded and then um and then they open up the microwave and they see that like piece of evil no way and then they're like. Like, what the hell is that? And the kid's like, don't touch it. It's pure evil. Oh. And then naturally, both ki- both parents look at it, touch it immediately, and both explode. Holy crap. End of the movie. So oh. to me, this is a lot of like, I think this is like English writing. Like, yeah. Kind of. And, and this is a, like a, in a European movie. So this is kind yes. of a, a European mean. twist, let's say, of uh, nobody wins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and man, nobody won here. For nobody sure. wins. You know, Time Bands, that was an interesting movie. It had its moments. Um, yeah. Terry Gilliam, we got to see Brazil one of these days. We do. We definitely do. Um, but I still remember it's evil. Don't touch it. <laughs> like a little English kid. <laughs> what? Yeah, because uh, I remember one of the heroes man. in that story was Sean Connery. Oh, wow. And he, okay. And he thought Sean it was, Connery. you know, an 80s Sean Connery. He thought mm-hmm. it was all a dream, but the Sean Connery was the fireman who, like, put everything yeah. out. So he's like, was it a dream? But what? no, the evil killed them all. Anyway, that has been our hot take on Lamb. I say see it, but yeah. it's a weird ass movie. Yeah, see uh, it during the day. Don't freaking end your night on this one. Yeah, don't don't like don't, don't don't see it if you're going through something. Yes, if you're going <laughs> through like a breakup or like you lost a kid. This movie, like, yeah, you know, <laughs> but you you're know having what I mean? a really good day. Yeah, just watch just, it. Just see it because you're in a weird movie. Don't see it because they say oh, it's about grief. I'm like, I don't know, man. It's about crazy parents. Like, yeah, it's th- like someone somewhere is delusional. Yeah. So, but anyway, enjoy. I'm your host, Mark Rubalcava for Mr. Ariel Panetta. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification because that is how we drop it like it's hot. Yeah. Uh, Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter all those things. YouTube. <laughs> uh, yeah. And this has been the Clubhouse Movies Podcast. We will catch you next time. Goats.